For Texas A&M senior quarterback Gerard Johnson, the height of his success is dubbed to the foundation laid in his youth and shaped by his role model. My dad was always my biggest role model. You know, uh, I've always I've always thought highly of uh, athletes. You know, you have you know you have your Derek Jeter, your King Griffey. You know, those those type of people. At the same time, I think that the people that you're actually around and they're actually tangible to you, you have the, have the most impact on you. And I think my mom, my dad, my brother, and you know, just I think just the community of humble. You know, and the people that I was fortunate to be around really shaped me to be the person that I am, and I'm, I'm blessed for that. A determined leader like his dad, Johnson is following a similar career path in education and is now working on his master's. Getting my master's in uh, RPTS, uh, Parks and Recs, but it's, I'm doing the youth development base because I, I like to start a camp, uh, run a camp down in Umbo at some point in time when I, when I get older. So just kind of learning how to, you know, youth designing a camp, you know, budgeting and, and that kind of stuff. So just a youth development course on a different note than education. Before jumping too far ahead, Johnson has more current goals like embracing every moment of Tui Days. I've just enjoyed being around the guys. It's my last year here, and there's so many things about uh, camp and Tui Days that. You know that, that are rough. You know, us getting here at six in the morning and leaving at, at nine at night. You know, uh, just from uh, all the meetings and you know the nutrition and the ice baths and so many things about it. But at the same time, I've kind of cherished it due to the fact that you know it's my last one. The senior status is acting as a fuel to Johnson's motivation and drive to learn every last thing he can, whether it be from studying Coach Tim DeRuiter's defense or working with a former Aggie quarterback. I think it's going to be pretty tough, you know, that's one thing he prides himself on is uh, making the quarterbacks, you know, cloudy, and I think that's that's the mark of a good defensive coordinator, so, you know, we've had a lot of conversation, you know, just him asking what I'm thinking and me asking what he's thinking, and uh, I think it's got me better, but at the same time, you know, I've got to pick his brain, and, you know, he's a great defensive mind. about a quarterback, you know, I feel you can't always be uh, too fundamentally sound, you know, and so I've worked with uh, Kevin Murray this summer to try to shorten my release a little bit and work on my footwork. Johnson is working to improve not just his own play, but feels it a personal challenge to reestablish the Aggies as a notable contender in the Big 12. I, think I feel that I do have a little bit of control over and uh, you know I'm just trying to work my hardest and try to prepare myself for us to win as many games as possible because uh, I think with all these young guys and the talent that they have and I think if, if we set a good example for them you know uh, not only for our the last year we want to win but if we set a good example for them they can take that and roll with it you know and uh, just kind of put them back where it needs to be. Building upon the foundation molded by his parents and combining his God-given gifts and abilities Johnson is climbing to even greater heights. In just a little over a week when the Aggies hit Kyle Field he'll have the opportunity to climb even higher. This has been Courtney Rowland for Aggie Yell TV.